Resilient Connecticut is a project funded by the HUD National Disaster Resilience Competition through a grant that was awarded to the state of Connecticut in 2016. It includes Resilient Bridgeport, which is a series of pilot projects in the south end of Bridgeport, Connecticut, as well as Resilient Connecticut, which is a regional climate adaptation and planning process that is focused on Fairfield and New Haven counties in Connecticut. There are four buckets of activity that are associated with Resilient Connecticut and includes planning. That includes regional resilience planning as well as planning for pilot projects and more local scale planning. Technical support activities that includes a science based forward looking blood risk assessment and vulnerability assessment, climate impact modeling, and adaptation option evaluation modeling. Capacity building this is faculty sponsored research through CERCA and the University of Connecticut, in the areas of transit oriented development, economics legal and policy recommendations and engagement, the Resilient Connecticut Annual Summit, uh, monthly webinar series, as well as other working groups and workshops. Our long-term vision for establishing resilient communities through Resilient Connecticut includes focused community development around transit. Three corridors resilient to climate change, something we call resilient corridors. Create opportunities for affordable housing, preserving and enhancing the quality of life for existing affordable communities. Develop energy, economic, and social resilience. Increase transit connectivity between transit nodes in Fairfield and New Haven counties. That includes rail as well as bus and other multimodal transit. Adapt structures and critical infrastructure in the flood zone to withstand occasional flooding in the near term and protect communities through healthy buffering ecosystems. Our critical services, infrastructure, and transport hubs are located on safer, higher ground and where strong connections exist between the two. This is our framework and our long term vision for you know, what we mean by resilience. There's also this concept included in the planning process called zones of shared risk. We define zones of shared risk as areas of land with groups of people who face common challenges. This can include housing, infrastructure, as well as ecology and other social elements. In this area of downtown Bridgeport, with public housing, multimodal transportation hub that um, is utilized and impacts the broader region, there's uh, energy, utility, infrastructure, as well as roads, egress, and access points that are all impacted by this flood zone and share a common risk and therefore share a common interest in coordinating investments and strategies for how to adapt this area going forward. Resilience corridors can be thought of as the near term, essentially an evacuation route. How do people get out of harm's way when there's a flood or a storm? But in the long term, resilience corridors can be thought of as areas that due to their elevation or due to the interventions, the investment in protection are inherently resilient to the impacts of climate change. And these can be used as a, a long-term investment strategy for communities in the state across different areas that we know will withstand the impacts of climate change going forward. Resilient Connecticut's currently in phase two, and we're working with Loney McBroom and Dewberry as our consultant partners in phase two. And we're also working with the four metropolitan planning organizations or COGS that assist towns in Fairfield and New Haven counties. It includes West COG, 
Metro COG, Naugatuck Valley COG, and South Central COG. And phase two is focused on this regional look at what will climate change mean to this region broadly. So as I mentioned, phase two we're currently in and runs until the summer of 2021, where we will transition to phase three. Phase three will be focused on developing more site scaled, community scaled pilot projects and really developing that pipeline of projects doing design, initiating a design process that includes the community, includes various stakeholders and state agencies to ultimately develop implementation plans. So thank you for watching this summary video. If you would like to learn more about the project, you can visit the project website, resilientconnecticut.ucon.edu. You can reach out to myself, john.trasinski at yukon.edu. If you have any comments or questions. And then again, thank you for watching the summary video and we will see you soon.